What are you doing? What was I doing, or what am I doing now? So now I'm yeah, doing like what's, what's like what's going on? Yeah, like what was I doing? I was doing the pre-show um, smoke, so uh, now I'm ready. The sure. camera looks like it smoked more than you did. Dude, this, this is this is this is a good setup. It's way better than my laptop I usually have. It's not bad. You know, like no, it was just it looks little, like, like the studio. A little pixelated. <coughs> is it snacks you smoking too? No. Not pixelated. On that gas? Yes. Should be 1080. <gasps> um, hey, Snacks, what was that idea you had? I like that. The, the, the panicker patience. Yeah, I thought of it last second. Yeah, we don't have to like make it a whole thing, but we could definitely do something with that. So I like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, it'll probably it'll probably just be like incorporated into overall. Just talking. Yeah, because I've been getting like DMs and questions about people like like yeah. Like, should I get rid? Should I drop like so and so for this guy? I, and I had people like panicking about Aaron Jones after week one. Like, is was... yeah. Oh, dude, Aaron Jones, fuck him. He fucked me so bad. In another league did well for me. I was up by like twenty eight. I was like, oh, all right, Aaron Jones it should be tight, but we'll see. Yes, yeah, next. Like... I feel like you had the four highest scoring players in fantasy football last week. I, I might have right Jones. Cooper, Cooper had a Cup, good call. I need Jones. Jones to do that. Huh? That was a waste. I would be pissed about that. I'm not pissed. You should be. Why? So you separate because yourself. Animals called points. When I need those points later, I'm going to have them. Points. I guess. Points. I have, a decision, I have a decision to make this week. Justin Fields is starting. I don't think I'm going to throw him in, though. Can we start? We're talking about all the content right now. Yeah, let's start. Like, like Animal, what are you doing? We don't need professional fucking production. What am I, what do you mean, what am I doing? Am I doing it or you do it? You doing it? Go. You're the, you're the welcome welcome bike. Uh, what do you're, you say? Like, what's you start, it, It's you. It's you. I don't have it in me right now. All right. You. Moment. What's cracking, big dogs? Welcome to Fade the Public. Uh, got snacks over there, and Nick. He's sick. That's why I did that intro. And uh, listen, I don't want to hear any shit about like the, the the production of the show or anything because look we got to do what we got to do our man is sick and i'm, I'm not gonna get sick and uh we'll be back together soon don't worry about it and shut up well Enjoy i'm technically show. i'm still in quarantine you guys wouldn't even be able to yeah, come no. here until like friday or saturday snacks snacks you can't you can't do that right now how long you been doing this podcast for i thought i was on mute i'm sorry the no. nerd we'd love that the nerds are right next to your headphones uh, well, yeah, so we, talk? we got a fun show for you today. We're going to actually get to discuss the E-Town Get Down League, the league that you all love so much. Uh, I know last week's stream was a disaster. Shut up. And then <laughs> we, uh, we tried. We tried. We're gonna, I think the theme of the show is going to be like a panic or patience, like with these guys. Like it's week two. What are we doing? Everyone was freaking out week one about like Derrick Henry. But look at the man. The man just does what he does. Freak athlete running all over people, dropping 40 bombs. Aaron Jones. Really bad first week. Aaron Rodgers, really bad first week. But then look at these guys. You can't panic. We're going to talk about that a little bit. <sighs> the intro? Ike hit the intro? You think he hit it? Do you want to know what the absolute worst part of COVID is? Is like I've I've completely lost my taste and my smell. You can't taste fucking anything. That's brutal. It's so bad. It's it it's it's way worse than you think it would be too. It's like everything. Dude, I love food. I trust me. I'm all about right. Taste. It's devastating. Yeah. I love because, booze because it's like if you're gonna be trapped inside all day. Yeah, that's the other thing. I'm kind of nervous that my Marg ratings are forever going to be skewed because I don't know how long this is going to taint my fucking. I have to take a little little break. Maybe no Marg is in the winter. Dude, stop. Just do I basically, cocoa. I basically did a year of that already with fucking COVID. Some hot cocoa uh, rankings. I wouldn't be able to taste. You can't taste a fucking lick. It's insane. You know what's crazy though? You know what I found to be a great food is so you can taste sweet and salty like sweetness but you can't taste the flavor of anything sweetness is like light in your mouth and then salty is like really really warming sensation kind of 
So it's like if you get trail mix with M and M's in it, you get like cashews and peanuts, which are super salty, and then the M and M's, which are sweet. I like to try to go for texture. When you guys you do. It. I've been eating like crunchy shit. I've been I've yeah. been ordering pizza, and I'm just like make it crispy as a burn like, it. Yeah, literally <laughs> fry it until it's unedible anymore. Yeah. And then like celery sticks and shit like that. It's it's horrible. I don't wish this upon. I'm I'm maybe I wish this upon you guys, but no one else. I I, t- I swear to God, Max, you saw me when when I was really sick that one time. I couldn't even speak. It was awful. I and for, I I tested negative like three times. The, zero doubt in my mind it was COVID. Zero doubt. It definitely but, was because I didn't get it. I'm super strong, so I was with you. So that makes sense. All right. Well, speaking of things that are awful, animal. Uh, how you feeling about your team? We bounced back week one, everybody. We got to win. We don't have to wait until week like 14 now. It's it's over with. We did it. We got it out of the way. This is how we move forward. We stack wins now, right? I was going to say, I think um, I think this was an underrated storyline, the fact that you already got your first win this year, and it took you 14 weeks last year. Yeah, I mean, really, it's, you want to talk about progression? That's 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 it right there. This is how you, uh, you make moves, everybody. It's how you go up. I don't want to talk too much. I don't want to talk too much because then you know what happens. I think you busted your nut early. I think you're shooting blanks for the rest of the year. I think you're gonna go. I think you're gonna go one in fourteen again. <laughs> one no, in no, oh yeah, one in fourteen. One, like, well, one yeah. in fourteen. Yeah. You guys actually look at my matchup though, and like see like how I like. I mean, there was opportunity there for Joe, and he still he didn't have it. And yeah, Joe Joe should have beat you. My team still didn't perform up to its full potential. Like Nick Chubb didn't even go for twenty. I don't know if there's anything he that Joe could have done differently. No, there's nothing he could have done. It's just Jonathan Taylor scoring him six points killed. Yeah. He, he could have started Gronk. Yeah, but like. He could have started Gronk, but that's I not. Feel like I, I'm not. In a shootout with KC, it's not that crazy. When Mark Andrews playing. Well, no, less. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I would have probably still played Andrews. Obviously, you want a Gronk after what he did. But like, I mean, I guess start everyone against the Falcons is really the moral of the story. Yeah, I mean, he had a yeah. great start going into it with, uh, with Terry McLaurin putting up 22 on Thursday night. So I, I was not feeling good going to this matchup on my team. It, it really was uh, Aaron Rodgers carried me. And that's what I was kind of hoping would happen this year. So let's see if he can keep that up. By the way, Jared Goff, guys, sleeper uh, quarterback. Sleeper quarterback if you're in Superflex League. and if He looks okay. Somehow looks okay. Off the waiver wire or someone will give him up cheap. Guy looks like he's going to ball for fantasy this year. Well, yeah, you, just, you, you just won't stop starting Ronald Jones, will you? Dude, like, well, even if well, even if he's not on a team, you're going to start him. Please that's get him I'm out of here. That's what I'm talking about when I say my team hasn't played up to its full potential yet. I still have Ron Jones in the lineup. Like if I just started Marquise Brown, it's not even close now. Like I'm feeling real good. So, Adam, well, you know what would make you an infinitely better fantasy player? That's something you could do right now. Drop Ronald Jones. Drop Ronald Jones from your team. Yeah, yeah I will. I'm dead serious. The fact that he's still on your fucking roster. Was he in your starting lineup last week? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, it was the bounce back week. He's like, he's gonna he's gonna have to he's gonna have to do it against Atlanta. Like they scored 48 points. You would think maybe he gets one touchdown. No, you know, no one would think that besides you. Six carries, 27 yards, and one. So do you triple down right now on week three? He's gonna have one game that he's good at. It'll you know, it'll be week three when he's not in his lineup. I just want to yeah. catch that game. I have Ronald Jones like four other leagues. So what I'll do is I will drop him in this league. I will drop. Him. I will drop Ronald Jones in this league, everybody. And listen, if you're in a ten team league, you you shouldn't have Ronald Jones anyway. So that's the moral of the story here. Exactly the fucking point. Can we talk about how I spent seventeen bucks on Rondell Moore today, and not a single fucking other bid was put on him? <laughs> What's your guys' problem with fucking Rondell Moore? Can I, can I can I I be truthful? I I knew he would probably go for like fifteen plus, and I was like, I'm not going to do that because yeah, for the you first don't need time, a wide receiver. I don't need a wide receiver at all. So, um, I I was just like, you know what? Whoever gets him, God bless. Because he's him at like I had him at like twenty two, and then I dropped him to seventeen last night, and then I boosted my Teddy Bridgewater bet up from like eight to twelve, and then I didn't get Teddy. The uh, the injuries are starting to pile up a little bit for me. They're not none of my like stud players, but Judy out, Fitzpatrick out, Carson Wentz about to be out. Like they're they're starting to pile up a little bit, and like the bottom of my roster where they churn is not looking sexy. Yeah, tis tis the season to injuries. Um, well, I guess speaking of your team, why don't we talk about our matchup? You guys talk about your stupid matchup that was completely a fucking blowout. Well, yeah, Snacks put it on me. You dropped the 190 burger. Um, he doesn't fucking kick a man when he's down, by the way, Snacks, you dick. I'm, listen, this what is what mean? we have to talk about the matchups. If he's sick, yeah, dead, or alive, like, what do you want me to do? It's fine. I mean, listen, 
this he's, he's a grown man. He's not sensitive. Listen, pummels you into the ground. Snacks pummeled me and threw the ground into a coffin six feet under. But it's fine because I look around the league and like I would have won. I would have beat about seven teams in the league based on my points alone. Yeah, I'm, not worried, I'm not worried about that. Listen, I invested everything into. You would have beat I invested me. everything into my running backs and Cook, Gibson, and Mixon get like 25 touches a week. Those are eventually going to pay off. And then I nailed my next three picks after that with Brady, Hawkinson, Godwin. Those are looking fine. It's just the bottom of my roster is not. Over Mixon, your team would be so so good right now. I know, I know. That's going to be the one I look back on. Yeah. And I knew it too. As soon as I made it, I was like, "This is definitely the mistake of the draft yeah. right there." Which one? Um, go back taking, on that. Taking uh, Mixon over Kyler. That was tough. It's tough to sit here and uh, eat that after all summer. I was like, Kyler needs to be on every one of your fucking teams. <laughs> yeah, Bra- Brady Kyler would. <laughs> well, the the thing about it would be, I wouldn't have taken Brady. I would have sat on my second okay, quarterback fair, later on fair. in the draft. I would have taken Kyler, and then my my. Fourth round pick likely would have been. When did you get Keenan Allen? Would he have been available for me there or no? No, but you might have been able to get like David Montgomery or someone. Yeah, I think I would have probably gone like Tyler Lockett or something at the wide receiver one, skipped on Godwin, still went Hawkinson. So it wouldn't have been like that massive of a difference, but having Kyler would would be sexy atop the uh, top the team. It so, would definitely be beautiful, but at the end of the day, Tom Brady's probably going to do this every week. So. Yeah, I'm I'm obviously happy to have Tom Brady there. Um, yeah, so you put the fucking hurt on me, and now you're sitting where you at? You're in second place. Yeah, jump from ninth to second. Our entire league is one and one right now, except for <laughs> Shane. Shane's up at two and zero, oh, and Joe, unsurprisingly, is down at zero oh and two. But like everybody, like even Snacks putting the beat down on me. You're 17 points above me. We're three spots away from yeah. each other, so yeah. it's kind of all up in the air right now. Yeah, like, yeah. the league's wide open. I mean, it's not like. Animal, how do you feel about your team legitimately on a scale of one to ten confidence level? I I feel very confident that I I don't even want to say it out loud that you're going to make the playoffs. No, I don't even want to say I don't want to say anything out loud. To be honest with you, do it. Start even karma and jinxes. Never did. Oh, gee, finally. Over the past like year, you know, it's I've only been trying to tell you for how long. Every time I open my mouth and say something, the opposite seems to happen. So it's a fucking podcast. It's about talking. How confident do you feel in your team? And where are you going with it? What what guarantee do you have for us? Looking, I'll look through the teams of this league called the Town Get Down, this hypothetical league. There's a team called Kingdom Animalia. And I'll tell you what, it looks pretty good. And I'm not going to say that they're a playoff team. I'm just going to say it's not a last place team. Can that team's that? not a last place team. I mean, it's I technically know. not it a last is. place team right now. Place. Yeah. That team will but then, not. But then again, it is it is you, so you never know. It's not is it me. really it's just going to be so fucking you? It's going to be you, George, and Joe just competing for last place every fucking year. I honestly seems, think seems to be the case. George's team is the last place team, I think. Not to like, you know, but I think I'm looking at home. shit he's yeah, right now. Go to go to it's team. not good. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's not but good. The running back situation is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like players, players in his lineup at this point. You're in a 10 team league and you have Javonta Williams, Sterling Shepard, Robbie Anderson in your lineup. Yeah, not, that's not, tough. It's not good. And pl- and then and then you look at all the actual players to use early round draft capital on. Uh Ryan Tannehill, AJ Brown, George Kittle, all absolutely fucking nothing right now. Nothing. I mean, I you would you would figure you would figure AJ Brown is gonna so get going to get going. AJ Brown. He'll, I think he'll be all right. Yeah. That, yeah, Tannehill and AJ Brown will have big games eventually together. Kittle, I, I mean, I I haven't liked Kittle all off season and no. I I think I even said it draft now. I said terrible pick, George. But I think you said about that about Hawkinson too, though. Well, so you can't just throw that out for everywhere for every. Well, in fairness, I said bad pick to you for every pick. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> I simply so, remember so, the Brady Hawkinson turn that you were. I remember the scoffs coming from yeah, the fucking left yeah, field over there. Yeah. It, it started with Mixon, and then I just went. I just decided for every other pick, I'm just going <laughs> to pick. Yeah, we're all one and one. Uh, Snacks beat the shit out of me. Animal finally got a fucking dub. We look towards three. I got to play against Larry Lunch. I'll tell you what. Larry's got a good team. It's not fun to see uh, Kyler Murray sitting at the top there. You got Kamara, Damian. His team is Kamara very, very... All, Kamara coming off a very bad game. You know what's big for him is just Kamara like and Hill. The, the later round guys, his flex guys, like Debo and Mike Williams are both performing like wide receiver ones right yeah, now. Yeah, they're hitting. And I don't think it's going to stop this week for Mike Williams against KC. Uh, Debo's got a tough matchup against Jared Alexander, so I don't know what's going to go on there. But there, And, I mean, is Tony Pollard the best pick in the world ever? Is he the best uh, pick in the world ever? Ever. Yeah, These guys unbelievable. 
I mean, do you do you expect him to keep? No, keep no, no, up? not at twenty one and a half points a week, but he's clearly a f- focal point in that offense. Yeah, I have. A They're hard finding ways to get him the ball. They are. He's explosive. He looks kind of better than Zeke at this point. Who, oh uh, yeah. I don't know how you feeling about Zeke. Not great, but here's the thing: like, I I had a go. awful week one from him. Week two, he gave me a mediocre performance, and I still uh, got a win. So if he can just, if he can float around that fifteen to twenty point range, I'll be okay. I don't want that for my RB one, obviously, but like, it's better than getting those eight point games. So. Well, you, your it's better. Your RB one hasn't still hasn't given me a twenty point week. I need like my RB one hasn't given me an eight point week. Yeah, well, you took Z. You said uh, fucking Aaron Jones give you forty seven points. Shut your yeah, mouth. My RB two. No, yes, Barkley's always going to be the RB two there. Uh, no, he was picked first, so he's the RB one. No, <laughs> things change, but yeah. So I mean, between Nick Chubb and Zeke, I feel great because those guys, neither of them broke twenty points, I believe, this uh, season. Would why would like? that? Why would that make you feel great? Didn't Nick Chubb have a two touchdown game? Yeah, twenty exactly, week one, twenty point yeah. ten. So, uh, yeah, so, so you, like you lied to us. Well, no, I didn't lie. I just didn't know. But <laughs> with um. Baker Mayfield, a little just bit making up. concrete statements about things he doesn't have to know. Run about. the ball a lot. I'm not worried at all about Chubb. I think he's going to do what he does. He's going to have his big blow up games and still average his, you know, like 15 point floor. So snacks, you said you have a you have a tough decision this week on your. I do. Spot. Yes. So I took Justin Field. What, what was you? What would you say? That was like the ninth round or so. Yeah. Something. Um, like just waiting for him to take that starting position over, which was always inevitable. Um, savvy move, by the way, picking up Jeff Wilson. I like that move. Thank you for a dollar too. Like, can you put him on the IR right now or no? Uh, actually, let me see. He should I be can. right. He was on the pup. So any any of you guys? Yeah, out there I should. Watching, oh, yeah, look at that. I would I would definitely go. Now's the time to go pick up Jeff Wilson. He'll be back in a few weeks, and he's probably the most trusted running back in San Francisco right now, where he most are out. So I would uh, yeah, I would go I, his ass. I, uh, nice I, I was pretty pumped about that. I I put a dollar thinking. I, I didn't actually think I was going to get him. And I was like kind of in between, like, do I really want to spend more money than this on him? Not knowing what, what happens when he comes back. But so seeing this morning that I got him, I was like, wow, fuck yeah. Um, yeah. So my decision, Justin Fields is playing because Andy Dalton uh, got hurt and he's playing Cleveland. But I mean, I'm in a little predicament. I don't know what to expect from him. Um, obviously he's got that rushing upside that we all know about could come out and he could pop or that Cleveland defense can finally get in order and just shut a rookie quarterback down at home. And my two quarterbacks, Derek Carr and Russell Wilson, have played great the first two weeks, although Derek Carr is a little banged up right now. So yeah, hard to trust Derek Carr, I feel like. It is, it is, especially, you know, he's going up against Miami, um, who just doesn't seem to be any good at all. Um, but – well, it's I, I'm kind of leaning towards Fields right now. I think I may put Fields in over Derek Carr. Uh, if Derek Carr was healthy, then I'd probably wait a week. But Andy Dalton could be back after that, and I don't want to miss Justin Fields trying to just completely go into this game, dominate, and win that starting job for the rest of the year. So uh, the rushing upside. So at least you know. If, if right at the end of the day, I should be able to kind of counteract um, counteract with that. And then I'm a little nervous with my matchup. I got Mike Evans going up against, I would assume, Jalen Ramsey. So that's not going to be fun. Well, AB um, just got thrown on the COVID list. He did. I was just about to say that. So I still expect. I think he's going to be back, though. I feel like he just needs to be asymptomatic, needs two tests, and he'll be yeah. back by like Friday or Saturday. Yeah. And real quick shout out, Animal. Noah Fant Font is a beast, and I'm very happy he's on my team. What are you, you going to do? It's just, this, is how I, this is how I work. I know these He's things. He's a stud. He's a yeah, stud. stud. And all, if, right. It, all right. So, we, we, real Y'all quick, all real got quick. lucky that Jerry Judy got hurt. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Really? That well, yeah, that, that he too. He was in a lot of targets week one, by the way. That, that too. So you started off by saying patience or panic. And I mean, I'm kind of 50 50 on Saquon, but this is the game. If he's going to get right, it's now. You got 10 days off and you're playing Atlanta at home. So I would. If he gets, if he has another mediocre game where it's like ten fantasy points, I'm I'm gonna look to trade him to George because George will take him because he needs a running back, and I'll just fleece him. But yeah, I would this I would worry game, a lot. This is the fucking game that everybody who drafted Saquon had circled on their calendars. Like Correct. you didn't expect shit in weeks one and two. Right. It's kind of discouraging though that like he hasn't done anything. You know, well it was, it was good to see like the forty yard run ripped off, but like. You know, I'm more worried about the receiving work. I knew offensively, like him running the ball, it's it's never really been his strength anyway. In the offensive line running, it's not it. 
We have no Jason Garrett does not know how to design a play for Saquon's skill, which is the most worrisome thing. You can't get him out in space, and that's I really banked on him being able to catch that ball, being that with the shitty offensive line that check down that Jones will throw and get ten targets a game. But it hasn't happened yet. And he's I, yeah. The encouraging part is he's played a lot. So yeah, he finally got his snaps like jumped all the way up to like 90 percent. I yeah. remember tweeting this in the beginning of the summer, or at some point, I was like, "What does Saquon have going for him outside of just people drooling over his athleticism this year?" I mean, because you fall back on the situation, it's like. The offensive line is terrible. He's never getting more than two yards of fucking carry. They're not throwing him the ball, mobile quarterback. Like, there are problems far beyond just his ACL at this point. I feel like the knee is strong enough right now, but, like, now you're just kind of sitting there in a situation where is it is it a good situation for Saquon, right? Is he someone that it doesn't matter the situation? Like, clearly, I feel like that's showing itself. So, if he doesn't pop off against Atlanta, I feel Big like worry. he might – I feel like he's going to have a mediocre day, and I almost feel like it, it opens up, like, a little bit of a sell window. Not yeah, to uh, – This is it for me. Like, I'm – I. He, then he's got another tough slate after that. So it's. Thanks. I have a question for you related to Shoot, all buddy. Was it, was it just Eli that just made like them? Because like you look at you go back to Odell. Odell had that one season with Eli, and then like he sucked after, never did anything great. Yeah, he had a couple of case seasons, but he was hurt. Now Saquon does great with Eli, and then the guy just can't do shit. Well, in fairness, he tore his ACL last year, so well, um, he didn't really have much of a chance to do the anything. I can't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have much of a chance. Um, he had a high ankle sprain in Jones' rookie year where Jones started, so he never really got back um, to full speed outside of the last couple weeks. But, yeah, I mean, and it's a great – I'm really happy you brought Eli up because this Sunday the Giants are retiring Eli's number, which I would be remiss if I didn't mention that. But, yeah, you could you could look at that. The Odell thing is really it. it, it the Odell thing really might be it. That, that I'm might be. So it. happy for the record. I'm. I'm not happy. I got COVID. I'm not happy. I'm missing the game on Sunday. But I'm happy that if I had to miss a game, it's Eli's Hall of Fame, whatever, in fucking Jersey retirement halftime yeah, bull, yeah, bullshit, it's, it's, whatever it's, fucking nonsense extravaganza they got going on there. And then all you Giants fans are gonna have your dicks out at halftime. Max is gonna be it's, crying hysterical. In the oh, I am. I'm gonna be a mess. I'm gonna be a mess. So, although, although one good thing that would have come for you, Nick, is you. Would have been there. Would have been no lines in the bathroom or getting beer. That would have been. True. That would have been. I spent big. my whole halftime hanging out in the hallways. That'd when you sick, go, actually. when you go out on halftime, like to go get a beer and go to the bathroom, you're missing like kickoff of the third quarter. It's crazy. Fuck. Now I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting. I'm getting FOMO over hanging out in the hallway right now. <laughs> the only thing I'm. You, you, you and like four other Falcon fans that are going to be there. Oh, that's where go. we all fucking sync up. I love yeah. that. We should yeah. do that real, gang battle. Real quick, being isolated. I, I I was thinking about this before. There has to be one good thing about it, and that's you. You probably haven't seen Tony in a while, right? Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. It's been there fucking fantastic. Pros I'm and cons, there. man. Pros I and been cons. Able to you guys. It's Great. All the people that just annoy the shit out of me. I don't have to see. Yeah. So I'm, look at that. Telling, I'm gonna tell Tony that I'm quarantined until uh until December. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Uh yeah. all right. A Falcons we... related uh question. Is uh Cordero Patterson a buy right now? Are you trying to pick him up? I mean, I would pick him up if you could. Um, I don't he's not someone I'm going out to like give up actual oh, value for 20 fucking fab on him i'm just saying like if you need a running back are you taking a shot on him well, here's the thing that offense wide receiver and on sleeper the offense is so yeah that's the cool part about it if you're in like a, a three wide receiver league and you can throw a guy who's getting six to eight carries like he's gotten seven carries in both games so if you're if you're getting a guy who's getting guaranteed seven touches if not probably 10 touches a game as your wide receiver three i think it becomes kind of intriguing so corderell Here's the thing: the, the offense is so pathetic that they're going to need to keep manufacturing ways to like give playmakers the ball. So he's going to keep running wheel routes out of the backfield. He's going to keep getting carries and stuff. And we started to see them like more down in the red zone. Mike Davis is exactly what we knew Mike Davis to be prior to him filling in for Christian McCaffrey. This it's just like everything. Everything lines up for Mike Davis just to be. I was a not a Mike Davis this guy this year. Just want to throw that out there. He was on my do not draft list. Um, he was off my board. Long time. He, he was on everybody's do not draft list that knew anything. No, no, anything. no. I heard tons of Mike people, ta uh, tons of people touting Mike Davis this offseason. All right, Adam, well, you're, you're sharp. You're the yes. sharpest. And I said, off my board. Get him off my board, I said. Mr. Mike Davis. On my board. On. on. If, see, he's a he Falcon. is my fucking board. Yeah. He's a Falcons running back. I'm a little nervous about that. So, off my board. What's that mean? Didn't Todd Gurley score like eight touchdowns last uh, year? Uh, all right. Can we? Get you also said mind? Carson Wentz is going to be QB one, but yeah, that was, that's not working that was, out for me. Publicity stunts, Nick. <laughs> 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 Big 
The guy fucking sprains both of his ankles. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he's like, what a yeah, loser. Who does yeah, that? Yeah, who that fucking does, does that? It really is insane. Like, I, I was waiting for, is there memes? I feel like there's got to be memes of like fucking like Lieutenant Dan or some shit. It's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how the fuck does he sprain both his ankles? Um, But can we get to my matchup? I got a big yes, matchup. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Against Shane, the, the number big one contender in the league right now. He's 2 0. Oh, you're Draft getting buried. From the four spot, he has Derrick Henry. And I'm nervous. Dude, Shane's, Shane's team is how is this possible? His team is high power. And here's like what I'm nervous about: Henry Devon Carson, Adams, Adams Waller. Yeah, Devon Shane, Adams. My God, Adams he will huh. now. Uh, he what? I'm sorry, I missed that. Said Devonta Adams hasn't gone off yet. Yeah, I know, and he will. Adams yeah, hasn't uh, gone off yet. Yeah, I mean, he took a he took a dice roll on the quarterbacks with. Uh, Daniel Jones and Burrow and D DJ's paying off. So DJ's paying off big time. That's that's the thing about these like 10 team leagues is you're going to get your choice of quarterbacks later on that are not top tier guys. And if you hit on one or if you hit on one or both of them, like you're going to be sitting pretty. Now he does have some concerns, I guess, with Deontay Johnson. Allen Robinson, yeah. I feel like is a little bit concerning at this point too. These yeah, he's not. Well, if Justin Fields is the quarterback, I'd be concerned just because targets are down. Like he's just but getting if, less. And if Andy on. Dalton's the quarterback, I'd be concerned because he fucking stinks. He stinks, yeah. but at least you know you're getting like 10 targets. Do we, though? Yeah. Robinson can do something with those. If Justin Fields is going to take one read, see Robinson cover, and then run, that's not going to be good for Allen Robinson. But Andy yeah, he don't throw it more than like five seconds down the field, so I don't know. I, yeah. I, there, are a lot of like, there are a lot of good pieces on the team. Um, yeah, he's got a good all-around squad. Having yeah. Waller in there at tight end is pretty fucking <sighs> sexy. Yeah, I, Waller I, I, the week it's uh, you know against Miami. He didn't have a great week this week, and then Corlin Sutton probably set for a nice week against the Jets. Just Animal, because. did you draft Woods over Cooper Cup? Definitely, yeah, definitely regret that too. Sharp, but it's week Sharp. two. We don't know. We'll see. Sharp. Listen, Woods. No, I think, I think no, we know. No, 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 I think we fucking know. I think we know. <laughs> Woods is going to have three. games, but yeah, Cooper Woods will have okay games. Couple just the, keep having elite games. The game, the guy that you want, obviously, because he's getting. Bulk of the targets, and he's fucking really good. Yak, he, he just makes shit happen. Yeah, he's a beast. He, he's super. Like we all knew about it, but it's very underrated, I guess. Like how good he actually is. Like he literally just like makes guys miss and gets an extra like eight yards. On and he always seems to be wide open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty uh, fascinating. Um, but other than that, like I, I'm worried about Derrick Henry and Daniel Jones because they're gonna they, they could each just go nuts on the rushing aspect. Um, what a, wait, wait, I mean, Car Carson can be all right too. Minnesota's defense looks like fucking dog shit, but I think that's just like a shootout game though, because Minnesota can't fucking stop shit like that. No, they can't. Unless he they gets those like, one yard carries where like lock it full short of the goal line or something. I think yeah. Carson's like an eleven point guy. Whatever, fuck. I'm not worried about Carson. Can't wait to. Yeah, Carson's like low key the least of your concerns. Cortland Sutton against the Jets might just pop the fuck off again too. Cortland Sutton, I worry about if he just gets a touchdown because he's gonna have like a hundred yards again probably. But now he yeah. gets that down to him fucked you Rob robinson's gonna be probably shadowed or at least like heavy dosage of denzel ward who's one of like the top cover corners in the league right now uh you're gonna need yeah you're just gonna need your guys to kind of hit their ceilings you're gonna need well and yeah. they haven't yet so that's why i feel good like zeke and chubb still haven't really exploded uh robert woods hasn't never he's really done shit tampa's not a great matchup um sam Hollywood Darnold brown's looking like a great pick for you right now though yeah, I like until Hollywood until Brown. Rashad Bateman comes back. I feel like Hollywood Brown is a must start player. He's gonna have a lot of targets. He's getting the volume. He's one of the only guys that you can actually rely on in that wide receiver core. And Mark Andrews doesn't really seem to be uh, too hot right now. So yeah, so I, I, I'm a, I'm very very high on Hollywood. Why you, you stay? You, you want to oh. trade me one of your how many quarterbacks you got? Four. Yes, yeah, is what you do, baby. That's what you do. That's no, what you it's not do. what you do. Look at your look at your. Look what happened. Baker's already hurt, so I really only got three. He's fine. He's playing. I, I really like Sam Darnold against Houston this week. I know we're like all over the place, but I really like Sam Darnold against Houston this week. Him and DJ Moore definitely going to get something going. So that's uh, looking good for me. I'm feeling pretty good about this matchup against Shane. I know the projections are not on my side right now. Nah, who but, cares? Um, I mean, I think Chubb is due and Zeke is due. Zeke and I, I, th I think you're right. I think you're right. Like worrying, worrying about DJ Henry and Sutton is probably, and I mean, obviously Waller's probably going to ball out, but those three guys for sure definitely can pop like off. Joe Burrow having a bust game. A right? bad game against Pittsburgh, yeah, especially at Pittsburgh. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty they're, good they're about missing, that. They're missing like uh, half their defense, though. So Pittsburgh, I feel like, is not really a team to fear right now. I, not to fear, games. but I, I will always give Pittsburgh that benefit of the doubt at Heinz Field against 
you know, a second year quarterback coming off a massive leg injury. So no, you're right. I'm considering. Here's my one consideration. Animal's just not right. You're right. <laughs> Here's my one uh, consideration for a start sit uh, issue. Um, wait, wait. Let, let's try and guess. It's wide receiver. Is it Ronald Jamar Jones? Chase? Ronald Jones over. Uh... Jamar Chase over. Come on, Sax. You're right there. It's the only wide receiver I mean, you I, have. I'm going to go bench. over Montgomery. No, no. Jamar, Jamar Chase over. Robert Woods. Bobby Woods. Bobby Woods. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chase is, because he has Burrow. Number one, so if you know, maybe I can get that, you know, negate those points a little bit. Yeah. And then also the fact that Woods has a tough matchup against Tampa Bay. Although, is it a tough matchup? I don't know. They, so, dude, they not don't look passing, great. Not for passing defenses. What's the right? over under in that game? It's got to be really high at this point. Because I mean, you look Tampa at the, the, the over under is 50, 55. They're just not going to be able to run the ball. Like you can't start any. You can't start um, Henderson if he plays. You can't start Sony Michelle if Henderson's out against TB. But like teams can throw against them. Yeah, I feel like Robert Woods actually might have a night. I th I think we're in for yeah. like a seventy for okay. seven for ninety and a touchdown day from Robert Woods. If anything, maybe David Montgomery. I, but but I think he's one of the only viable options there. So like, why would I? Why would I sit David Montgomery? No, you're definitely no. Yeah. You can't putting on Jamar Chase. You're putting on like a fucking used condom. Don't do that. Yeah, Jamar, the problem with Jamar Chase is like he, right now he's basically come down to like one big play each game that's given him all his points. So I'm not gonna rely on that. You know what? I'm I'm leaving the lineup the way it is. It's set. I think you should. I think that's the line. You're looking. I feel like you need upside, so I feel like doing Jamar Chase in there just to kind of cancel out as Joe Burrow is more playing safe. Like, don't. Do yeah, that. I'm not playing safe. Fuck that. I don't play it safe. Hell yeah, animal. Safe. Say it like I'm you mean animal. it, girl. Although Aaron Rodgers is about to have a shit game, just letting you know. No, you you shut your mouth against San Fran. He, yeah. Against San for the team that passed up on, him, he's gonna bury them like he does every time. Which I'm, I don't know that, but I'm sure he does. This yeah. does he bury San Francisco when they play? I bet he. Does. I have no idea to be honest. He buries them. Probably I'll pull it up for you. I'm sure Aaron Rodgers buries them. He he. That's a revenge. Yeah, I, you you legit might get 20 points from your defense though. Well, yeah, that's that's another. That's kind of sneaky, play. underrated right here. I didn't even Actually, want to you know realize. You know what I realized? You're like a big uh, defensive fab spender guy, huh? Who me? Yeah, you. I feel like you never make moves on the wire, but every week you spend like. Five dollars on a defense. I do, I do. I am a bit. I, I because I, I mean, like, especially with Carol. You would think on paper. I don't care I if they're on the road. Yeah. Carolina is, should put up a very good amount of points tomorrow night. So Carolina's defense looks fucking legit. Yeah, they do. Did you see? They are like, I think they're like fifteen more than the second place team in quarterback hits or something. Yeah, they're good. They're, they're all, ruthless. All those picks are start starting to finally pay off. Yeah, Adam finally Martin starting to hit splits for Aaron Rodgers, and it turns out he scores exactly the same number of fantasy points against San Fran as he does the other thirty-one teams. <laughs> yeah, but like that's a good amount of points, isn't it? Uh, eleven points. That's what are these splits you're looking at? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, well, he's I mean, not. He's not playing. He's not playing the Lions, so he's going to come back down. There. Yeah, I mean, you're suggesting that he goes off against the Niners. He does exactly the normal Aaron Rodgers shit. Yeah, I'll take fucking 30 points. Okay. I'll take 30 points. Okay, I 27 points. Whatever it is. Um. All right, sweet. That was fucking... Uh, so, how do we feel? Good run, uh, feel good. You guys feel good about my matchup? I, I, I feel good, yeah. I. You know what? No, I'm going to say no. I don't feel good. I have fucking COVID. And I don't feel <laughs> good about your matchup either. All right, well... I, 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 was, I was telling you... I think I was telling you guys... Or texting you guys in the chat... It feels so weird to actually have like four to five viable wide receiver options when last year I was scrapping at the bottom of the barrel outside of Calvin Ridley. And now yeah. it's like that's like what it was for me last year. And it feels really good until it doesn't. Like, oh, I know. Be a time I, I know where you're going to be hurting at running back and then you're going to be like, fuck. I know it's coming. That's why I'm tr I might want to try and sell one for a running back. I got to check. I got to go to George. Well, he has no running back, so why let, would I let, do that? Let's talk. I got I got running backs. If you like, you do have running backs. Yeah, I got receivers. So I wrote Joe. Uh, you're gonna drop him, so I'll just put a dollar on him and get him. Yeah. I'm not gonna drop him. I'll drop Cole Komet before I drop Rojo. <laughs> but yeah, what's going on with your boy Cole Komet? I mean, Sharp. there's a quarterback controversy. So we gotta see what happens. <laughs> so you didn't know about the controversy any during the summer? It was yeah, dude. Surprised me. I really thought. <laughs> I really thought Dalton was going to be the guy and wasn't going to get hurt at all. No, I made the move. I put Fields in. Wow. Yeah. Fuck. Dude, Justin feels like when he's on the field, he doesn't. 
I feel like he doesn't look to pass. He immediately just runs. Yeah, I love it. He just one yeah. read. Do more of it. Run. I mean, Which if you're on Chicago, man. yeah. Look at Allen Robinson. See if he's open. If he's not, run. If, if he's not, still throw the ball to him 50% of the time. <laughs> yeah. 50% run. Yeah. I could see him having like Jalen Hurts types games like from last year. That's oh, what I think is going to happen. Yeah. I'm fine with Jalen Hurts last year was great for fantasy, but he just ran the ball a lot. Yeah. I mean, Jalen Hurts this year, great for fantasy because he runs the ball. Oh, I have him in another league and he's fucking awesome. He's killing it for me. Yeah. So, I'm on two, though, but he's doing great. <laughs> I'm on two in that league, but Jalen Hurts is fucking sick. Are you doing <laughs> yeah. good in any league, Animal? Yeah. I post go, my. Uh, go fade me. He's 2 0. I and post what? my. Yeah, go fade me. I'm 2 0, bitch. Don't fuck. Are you me. really? Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. like that's. I feel like that's the league you, you oh. don't want to be good in. This week, I fucking <laughs> spanked his hiney. I have like 30 points more than you in that fucking league, and I'm one on one. Yeah, but I also started Ronald Jones in that league. I what started Zach Wilson over uh, Daniel Jones. Do with? I'm still, I'm still 2 0. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the league you shouldn't be happy about being 2 0 because you have 0.0, 0 chance to win it. Oh, yeah, I, that league, I, if you're I, not like upper tier team, you're fucked. I might not win another game in that league. <laughs> it's literally just like Dak and Russ, and that's the only thing that's carrying me. And Dak had a terrible week last week, and I still. I was Dynasty. I'm actually that. That's where I, I've been thriving so far this year. Not like anybody yeah, cares. I, but. I'm so over <laughs> Dynasty. Like most of my leagues, I hate except for two of them. So, <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny how that works. Like, like I like Dynasty's Go Fade. Really me. fun during the off season, and then like in season, it's fucking annoying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm really focused on the uh, animal. We're in the same one with the um, Scott Yannick and SP. Fade the peasants that, is a good league. That's a very good league. That's yes. like a fucking. That's a that's a huge buy-in too. So that one, I'm 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 like locked in on that one. Yeah, I'm playing Cali Dog this week. You spanked my butt in that league too. Hey, so. snacks in uh in what it do? You and me, you me that's and right. Noah are all two and zero. Oh. That's right. There we go. Oh, I'm on two and uh, what it do. Happy for you. Yeah, Kyler, Kyler, Kyler's Cam, me, Kyler and Kelsey. Damn, oh, I DJ too. Fucking Third amazing. Cam Akers gonna get hurt. Lost. I'm gonna try and trade Brett. Edwards Hilaire, maybe he'll bite. How did the fuck did you just throw that in there, Animal? <laughs> you had Derrick Henry in your lineup last week and lost. You know how that always happens. He goes for 50 and I fucking lose every time. <laughs> You're terrible. It doesn't even make sense. Like, I, I literally, you know what happens? Jameis scored nine points and everyone else, Jonathan Taylor had five. Everyone else sucked. Hayden Hurst, why is he my fucking tight end? One point. <sighs> Hayden Hurst is your starting tight end. <laughs> Bro, I have like six of them. Come, come, trade it's from me. A strong league for me. I just have running backs so that suck. I'll they give you Gronk. Play. He's a he's Gronk is primed for a contending team like yours. I mean, yeah, but I have no one else as a problem. I'm just gonna tank this year. My uh, not You're gonna, weren't you in the finals last year? <laughs> yeah, dude. And I had Alvin Kamara go for like 50, and I lost. Wait, hold on, real real quick. I, I have a quick question. Just looking at what it do. All right, so Brett's team. Good, good kid. I'm sorry, Brett, to call you out like this. Didn't he like trade everything for all picks and his team still sucks? Yeah, but then he traded all the people he drafted from picks for next year. <laughs> He's got he just likes drafting, dude. Animal, you're a tight end away from a championship. Give me uh, uh and give, a me Ju- give me Judy. I need a quarterback. I have like five quarterbacks too. All My right, team's actually team. really a really uh I have a lot of depth on that team. Yeah, let's get let's get this depth. Fucking let's, let's take some of that depth and give it. Yeah, to let's me. kill some of this depth. Love let's it. Kill some of that depth, baby. Let's, let's oh, you got Wayne COVID. Goldman. He's gonna pop soon. Oh yeah. Yo, I bet the San Francisco 49ers wish they fucking held on to Wayne Goldman. You. Fucking, I don't know why they didn't. You fucking idiot, San Fran. Wayne Goldman was decent last year. Wayne Goldman hasn't even stepped on the field yet this year for the Falcons, and we're the worst offense in the league. Yeah, that's not a team you want to be like a backup running back for because like the starting running backs don't even get opportunities. He's like a third stringer right now. Yeah, I thought he was like a practice squad guy. Yeah, he is. What are they doing? I don't know, but... I never know what they're doing. They fucking had him right now. I cannot Uh, wait until we have like a fucking... We're going to have the number two pick in the draft next year. Whoever has the number one is going to take the only quarterback that matters in this draft. And then we're going to be stuck taking a fucking – we're going to take like a D tackle at number two. <laughs> we had the chance of getting Justin Fields this year. There's two quarterbacks – well, because I was looking bef- after the Denver game when Jones fumbled and I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> you um, immediately went on Google and looked at quarterback. Literally practice. started scouting quarterbacks, yeah. Yeah, well, Rattler's going to go. I don't I, – Rattler's like three for me right now. I like the kid well, for from, you, but I feel like he's high up. I, who? I feel like he's high up, though. 
in terms of oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I like I like the kid from Ole Miss a lot, and I, I you know I'm not I'm not his biggest fan as a quarterback, Lamar Jackson, but I think this kid might be better. Uh, Willis from Liberty. Yeah. Granted, he's playing at Liberty, but holy shit, the athleticism! He can do everything. Yeah, What's his? Malik, uh, what are his Malik, metrics? Right? What are his metrics? I don't fucking know. I just use my Straight. eyes. Six foot, six foot two twenty. Six foot, six feet. Yeah. What, what, and what's that? Lamar? What's Lamar's? Because Lamar's got to be. Lamar's like Mar's probably around the around the same build, skinnier though. He's probably not yeah. two twenty. He had some game, Lamar. Holy oh, yeah. shit! Eh, maybe I'm still in. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. I don't know anything. Oh, maybe I'm still in. That was it. Maybe I don't know. Six foot two twenty. Says six foot makes me. I need six two. I need six two. But what are you talking about? Bad. You have Russell Wilson as your starting quarterback in like half your leagues, I feel like. Yeah, but we're talking about a guy that's going to run the ball a lot, right? Yes. Yeah, want, he's run it. So, so you, you, want, you want your elite mobile quarterbacks to all be 6'5", animal? Yeah, sorry. They're not built that way. 6'2", don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real quick on a on like a – Denver looks good, and I want to say – I want to say congrats, Animal, on winning the death bet because I'm 100 percent going to be murdered because yeah, there's no way the jet uh, last meal to be. Uh, we'll pizza. cook it. I'll make, I'll make a vlog. Okay. All right, can I pick how I die, or are you just going to do it? I'll surprise you. All right, cool. That's fine. And also, you also look like a fucking idiot clamoring for Drew Locke over Teddy Bridgewater. Anyway. Well, you know, it's not. It's it's the, how it should have been. We should. You're have o, you're team. 0 for four on quarterback claims <laughs> when it comes to the Broncos. <laughs> the Broncos, yeah, I haven't been good at my own team. But Rogers, Zach, Watson, Locke. Uh, <laughs> can't get it right. What's that animal? We'll do a mob style uh, killing, just out of respect, or maybe like you know, uh, like a bomb in the car when you turn the ignition on, or uh, okay, something I'm along gonna, those lines. We could take him out on a boat, like a cruise ship, pretend we're having a celebration, feed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or how they killed how they killed Big Pussy. Yeah, yeah it, will, it will be theatric and it will be vlogs, so everyone will see. Obviously, I'm, I'm honestly I'm excited for it. I am. What what could still happen? I could see the Giants winning the division at six and eleven, and the Broncos going like eight and nine, and I make the playoffs but still have to die. Yeah, <laughs> like That'd we said, awesome. I, I spoke to you about this. I would let you watch out the playoffs. So I'm a good guy. Thank you. you Giants are going out. playoffs. Yeah, I'll let you watch, and then. And then you can die. And then I could die. I, you, you're you're going to be doing me a favor, so I'm good yeah. by this. Fucking gift. I think that's why I think that's why I made the bet because I have told you that's a win win. Yeah. On Animals House, I'm big. It, it, everything. Denver has a very good roster. I just didn't tr- trust Drew Locke. How are you guys doing in the Scott Fishbowl? By the way, I totally forgot about that fucking league. Two and zero. Oh. Well, really, you're really. Two and zero. Hell yeah. One and one, but like my team is so fucked because I have no running backs. I had J.K. Dobbins and Cam Akers as my one two, so. Oh, I may be I may be royally fucked this week. I had Carr, Mayfield, and Zach Wilson. Good Christ! Yeah, I'm I'm not even worried about Scott Fishbowl. It's just my team is just I have no chance and no running backs. Melvin Gordon is my only. Actually, it's not even. I have Javante Williams as my RB one. So somehow I have Carson, Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, Kareem Hunt, Tyson. I have like every fucking running back in the world in that league. Ooh, Dalvin Cook uh, is a guy I would actually want to talk about real quick. How will get in the end zone? Well. There's that, but he was like banged up that whole game, like fighting to fucking keep playing. I can't imagine what he feels like right now. I'll put it that way. I can't like, imagine physically. what he's feel like since day one he's been in the NFL. He's always banged up. Yeah, like but I mean, as if you're a Dalvin Cook owner, how do you feel? Nick, I believe you're a Dalvin Cook owner. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, they're not coming out and saying he has like a high ankle sprain or anything. It's like he's getting the touches. There's nothing I can fucking do. He'll find the end. Yeah, I, I feel like this is just the beginning of the end here for like this season for him. He's just gonna be like banged up, lingering injuries, like coming Wait, in did, after games. Did he? Did he? He signed a contract, right? Yeah, He's he extended. Okay, all right. Because I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if the Vikings season continues to spiral, and he needed a contract, he may do exactly what Kenny Galladay did last year and just fake the injury all year and not play. But no, nah, he got. He's paid. Track. He's paid. Yeah, no, I think it's more of the fact that he just is always banged up and, like, he's going to be fighting injuries all year. And the, the Vikings are going to be fighting uh, for their lives all year, it looks like, because they're, they're not They stink. Team. They stink. So, Although they should be 2-0 and when you look at it. I'd be worried if I drafted Dalvin Cook at, like, the one o whatever the fuck Nick drafted him at. Yeah, but then, like, also Kamara, like, that would have been the guy Same. I went with. And, like, look That's how bad this, the about. Saints fucking offense looked this week. It's week two, but how do we feel about Kamara? Because there was all these this talk early on. 
uh, in the offseason with Jameis. Like, is he going to be the same guy? And there was like, oh, he'll be fine. Uh, and then other people are saying he won't. And now it's not looking too great. It could really be a thing like Breeze made Kamara. Kamara. Well, and, it's, just a, it's just this offense. If this offense stinks, offense. it's like how good is the starting running back going to be? Yeah, that's true. They That was an absolute dud. But uh, granted, Carolina's D was good, and they just scored 35. Yeah, but then we look at the Packers' defense, who's pathetic. So what can we really say about the Saints? Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not really too worried about either of these guys, Cook or Kamara. Yet. Do, it's hard to like, panic, but like, who – all right, so between Kamara and Cook, who are you more panicking on? That's a good question. Um, I'm I not would, panicking on either. I'm well, really you not. Have to if you on, have to, if you have to panic on one, no, um, that's not true. I said if, but if I don't have a level of panic, how can I panic? Um, All right, then you don't have to answer the question. I yeah, I'm, I no fucking, emotions. I'm out. I think. Uh, how do I get out of here? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I think I would go cook just because he looks banged up already. Yeah, although he's. He left like four times in that game with all different injuries. And I was like, every time I was like, oh, he's fucking paralyzed. I'm done for yeah. it. One. That would have been a brutal way to end my season right there. If he just like actually broke his ankle or something, I would have fucking. I would have given be, you Madison. I would be so. Who are, the, uh, who are the Vikings playing next week? Like if they go 0-3 and, and then like this just could be the, the start of the Kenny Galladay experience, you know. But he doesn't. But Cook doesn't have a that? serious injury. Neither did Galladay last year. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're saying. He's got his bag. He can fucking sit down, relax, rest the up. Vikings for next- are way better than the Lions were last year. That is true. Well, we don't know that because the Lions, I feel like, actually That's might be better true. Than the Vikings right now. Um, the Vikings are going to be able to compete for the division the whole year because the division stinks. Cook plays uh, Seattle at home versus Seattle. Not He'll a good fine. game for them. He'll bounce back game for Seattle, and they need to win. Seattle after they just lost to the Titans in overtime. I, I'm taking the uh, Vikings. Only, only two players, only two players that have gone over 100 yards in scrimmage in both weeks. All right, wait, wait. Dalvin Cook. Derek the other one. The other one's it. pretty fucking obvious. Why am I drawing a blank? Like McCaffrey. That, yeah. Duh. Yeah, you all got quiet real fucking quick. Real fucking quick. <laughs> Get out of my fucking face, hole. Oh, Cook, like, I mean, my, my point is, I'm just saying, it's a, it's a long season. The Vikings are already looking like shit. I think it's time to panic on Cook. I'm panicking on Dalvin Cook, everybody. Well, everybody, to- go buy Dalvin Cook. He's about yeah, to be the RB1 of the year. Go. You just so locked up a playoff spot for in me. The history of fantasy football, it will live forever in the annals of history. The rest yeah. of the E-Town Get Down League, y'all hear that? I just locked up the number three spot in the playoffs. So, Damn, uh, that's that's Dalvin Cook is dead. That's, that's it. His tough. season is over. He's going to suck next week. Uh, actually, you know what? Derrick Henry just cooked the fucking Seahawks. He might have I, one more a week. I, I need that clip right there of Animal just saying straight into the camera, Dalvin Cook is dead. I'm going to play that on fucking repeat on Twitter. <laughs> every, t- every, time also, every time he scores. Every time he scores. Every 10 yard carry. I'm also saying that he could have a great week against Seattle because Derrick Henry just ripped Seattle apart. So maybe he could one have more a great week. week, or is he dead? Is he a, is he dead? Does he have a good week? What's dead you can't you can't you can't give all these different things. So you so you make one clip that you're right on. <laughs> he says oh, two different things, and then he throws the word "might happen" also yeah. in the middle of it. I got new information. I realized it was Seattle. I remembered uh, photographic memory. Derrick Henry just on that fucking misdirection. Boop, boop, mm. All the field. I mean, D- Dalvin Cook could do that no problem. So Dalvin mm-hmm. Cook's gonna have one more good week, and then he's dead. Who does he play after that? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> got Cleveland at home, Detroit at home, Carolina. Oh, then he's got the bye, which is huge. Then he's got Dallas. Wow. Yeah, we're straight. One more we're week, fine. everybody. One more week. I told you, sharp. Simple. Yeah, well, wait, wait till he plays Detroit. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty yards from scrimmage. Detroit's gonna yeah. be fucking uh, a, a fully. Actually, you know what? That might ner- make me nervous a little bit. If Dalvin Cook's banged up, Detroit, they like biting kneecaps and shit. They're going to yeah, go try and kill him. In division game? Let me fucking him up. Well, I mean, Aaron Jones was just in a division game and scored four touchdowns. Yeah, but those were receiving. Those were receiving. Dalvin Cook doesn't catch the ball? Adam Thielen's going to uh, – by the way, Adam Thielen, what a, what a steal this year, by the way, for anyone who went and drafted him. I scooped him in the fourth round of another league. Didn't feel good about it. I didn't need the wide receiver. You're not going to con- continue feeling good about it. Adam Thielen. Oh, I'm going to be feeling good about it. Feeling good. Um, I don't know. You guys got anything else you want to touch on? 
No. No, I'm good. We went through everyone's matchups. We uh, talked about, talk about Dallas Cook a little bit. Talked about some other players. We uh, I feel like we covered pretty much all our our eggs in our basket. I'm yeah, not sure that's how that works. But yeah, I'm down. All right. Anything else? Uh, check no. out Bagels and Locks on uh, Saturday morning, five a.m. Saturday morning. And uh, what the fuck? Why- What's wrong, snacks? Yeah, I saw a thing on the TV. Oh, you saw a thing. Sorry, you had to go through that. That's all good, man. I'm good now. All right, Recu- snacks. Recu- um, Recu- take us out. All righty then. Thank you, everybody, for listening and watching. We sure do appreciate it. Animal already gave the plugs. Um, so there's really not much other plugs that I can give except. Tune in next week for a, another recap of E-Town Get Down Week 3. Have yourself a blessed weekend and enjoy your football Sundays. Good luck to all you in your fantasy matchups and drink a lot of booze.